Brandon Parker back again with another gameplay video on DC Universe Online. Going back uh, with another look at my Sladen Lantern character. So this is what he looks like right now. I moved him up pretty good. He's got a CR of like 53 right now. So he could do like T3 missions. So right now I'm doing uh, a T1 alert just to show him a little bit more what and what I could do with him. He's pretty strong. What I have for my weapon on him right now is when, in my first video, which I was doing the Bloodhaven alert, which right before I got to level 30, which I was at level 29, and I had the brawling weapon, so now I have the rifle, and I like this weapon a lot, it's pretty cool, I like this, it's pretty cool, but I'm so used to the brawler weapon when I'm a lantern that I just wanted to try something different, so I think the rifle is alright, but I'm not sure if I'll stick with it. I'm not saying that it sucks, I'm just kind of not sure if it's really good or not for me. It's more of what you prefer because all the weapons are alright in this game. But mostly it's what you prefer more and I prefer brawling. But I'm giving this one a chance because I haven't really tried it. So I'm also uh, playing around with my uh, loadouts a little bit. Like, Well not really with my loadout because it's pretty much the same as my yellow lantern. And I just got knocked out right there. So, and I also just got me this red controller for my PS3. Because I'm going to stick with my PS3 for another year before I get a PS4. Until it dies down a little more uh, on the PS3. Because right now, PS4 needs to have more games with it. So, I usually don't... I'm that kind of person which I'll wait to get the next console for like a year or so. And then I'll stick with this one for a little bit, especially now that I just got this PS3. So, with my Lantern character, I, I'm just focusing on uh, his uh, role, which is either damage or controller. I usually go to controller when I'm in a four-person or eight-person mission, which the eight persons are called raids, and then the four-person missions are called alerts. So, in this alert uh, on the Ace Chemical. I'm focusing on being a controller right now, even though my whole loadout has damage gear equipped. The reason why I'm a controller is because everyone on this likes to be in damage pretty much. And since I'm in a good, uh, like with the people that I have, one person is a tank, one person's a healer, and one person's damage, and then I'm the other person that's a controller. So we're doing pretty good so far. Other than when I first came in here, I got knocked out, which that kind of happens because the enemies uh, got too close to him and I didn't do something right and we all screwed up. But we shouldn't get knocked out now because it seems like everyone here is pretty good and me, I sh should be pretty good. So we'll see what happens here on this. So moving right along here. So... doing this alert and uh, I, I, I'm focusing more on whether if I want to stay as a damage person or with this character or a controller I might just stay as a controller since a lot of the, the people in this game like to be in DPS and it'll be alright to go DPS but that's only if you're really your character is really strong and I think the best DPS characters are like lanterns sometimes tank what characters but I usually go as a controller when I'm in alerts more than two, more than just a duo mission because I like to give out my power and, and give out more power to people on the team and yeah some people think that if you don't got any uh, controller gear on you're not going to do really good as a controller if you're a controller if your character of the role is a controller but or whatever your other role is, if you if you have damage gear on, as long as it brings your dominance up, whatever gear you have, and it doesn't bring your like if your dominance is high enough for the mission, just make sure that if you got whatever gear you got, say if you got controller gear, make sure your uh, that's all you have equipped, even though that you want to be in DPS, make make sure that's all you have equipped, like. I say if you're going to be like DPS, uh, got any DPS gear equipped, I say it's better to have that and then switch to your other role because if you switch to your 
say you're a controller and then you switch to DPS, then it's not a good idea if you switch to DPS when you got controller gear on. Because it, it, it's just not a good idea. You, you'll probably get knocked out really easily and then you screw your whole team over. So it's better to equip DPS gear and then if you want to switch to your other loadout, which is your other role, then that's good. That, that's a better option because I've tried that and I just like now mostly what I have on if I do have any controller gear equipped is probably like one piece of controller gear because I will keep everything the same like all DPS and then I'll switch to my I only go to controller my other role is when I'm in more than a duo which is a two person mission so that's why I, I'm in DPS right now and I'm getting hit a little bit but we got two pe actually two people were actually I just realized now that two people are actually healers in this so actually we didn't have one of everything we had one person a tank and two healers and then me as a controller which is alright because the healers are pretty strong and then I'm pretty strong because I'm like a CR 53 and this is like a like a, a level 30 at the beginning when you first start and you need like a few like T1 gear equipped in order to get through this pretty good and since I've been doing T2 missions I'm way up there on this so I do pretty good and I also got a pretty good weapon that does pretty good damage that's why I have this rifle too because it does more damage than my Brawling. Even though if you like a certain weapon, unless unless the one that you have equipped is stronger than the than the ones you're uh, getting, I say what I'm trying to say is mostly equip the one that's the strongest. Even though say that you like brawling and you have in your inventory you have a rifle that's way stronger than your brawler weapon, equip equip the rifle that's what like I just did because I like to be a brawler but since my rifle is way stronger than my brawling weapon then I'll just use the rifle until I get a stronger brawler weapon so use the weapon that's the strongest that brings your like it like every more in the green and like keeps your inventory the same so save if I had a controller weapon but my whole loadout is damage get the strongest damage weapon so this is the strongest damage weapon it's way stronger than the brawling weapon that I had and if you want to go back to uh, your favorite weapon go back to one that's stronger than the next weapon that you have so I'm gonna go back to my brawler weapon when I find one that's stronger than this weapon and I will s I, I like like earlier before I started recording this I got a weapon which was a hand blaster and it's the same uh, level which is like 52 same level as this rifle so I have the choice to either switch to that or continue using this and since I've used uh, other weapons a lot I'll just stick with this one for now until I find uh, a better stronger brawler weapon that's stronger than the weapon that I have equipped now. And I also have uh, a, a style weapon, which is a uh, te Technic or whatever, or Tectoner or whatever. It's one of the styles that you get in the marketplace. You either have to be legendary to get certain loyalty points, which is like 600, to get it, or you have to pay like, I say like five bucks or 10 bucks to get the weapon. It's like 500 or 600 marketplace cash or if you're loyalty uh, or if you're legendary you get loyal loyalty points so I got like a thousand one hundred and I'm gonna save those so cuz I already got this like a long time ago with some of the weapon styles they created this a while ago so mostly what I'm using yeah so because I, well, I'm going to be saving my loyalty points. 
But that's what I would like to do. Because I want to change to my my tank, which is the earth tank. I want to switch him, which I haven't showed him in a video yet. Because right now I've only showed Metallic Theory, my Quantum Hero, and my villain, which is the Yellow Lantern. So I've only showed them mostly, and I, this is the second time I've showed this guy. Kill them already! My chemicals are at a crucial stage. My Slated Lantern here. So, we're fighting this guy. And we're doing really, really, really well because I'm pretty strong up there. And I have my loadout. Well, not, I keep saying loadout, but my inventory with all my stuff equipped. I have it equipped. Oh, everything's pretty much damaged. And I say do that and then switch to your other row. Because it's just really not a good idea to have safe your tank. Then you, and you want to, and you got all tank gear equipped then you want to go to damage it's a bad idea it makes you weaker because I've noticed just by having mostly damage gear and then I switch to my other role it it's helps out a lot so because I also actually going back to uh, my loadout I actually have uh, stuff like iconic powers I have it for like since I'm a controller and I'm supposed to give out power I, in my iconic powers, I usually do whatever to give me more power. So I'll generate more power. So I can give out more power to my teammates when they're running out. Which is the blue bar above the uh, below the green bar actually. Because of course the green bar is your health and the blue bar is your power. So, I do not like the team to have low power. And I will spawn since I got a I got a power that instantly gives uh, your teammates power, which is what I was just spawning. I mostly spawn that, and since I have a good weapon that does pretty good damage, I don't use my other powers that much. But like some powers that I have, it also does damage and gives power over time. Because it doesn't really say that with with lanterns. That it gives power, some of the power over time, but because like on quantum, it actually says gives power over time. But lanterns have a couple like the claw and the punching bag power. It gives power over time, even though it doesn't say that. It tells you that it'll get power to your teammates, but it doesn't like say it over time. It just tells you that it this will give power to your teammates. But it's pretty much the same thing as like quantum, it gives power all the time. It, which is the first two that you unlock. So the first two. And I think they updated like, like the powers for lanterns. Like I think pretty much all of them, most of them now give, also do damage and get power over time. But this is my loadout that I have. I have the punching bag, the instant power one, and the bat, like the baseball bat. I have that because it's kind of like something similar with the yellow lanterns, except it does a skull, and then you have like a like a stick. And you've seen that in my green lantern. I mean, my yellow lantern character. Some of the videos that I've done on him. Because mostly that's what I've done videos on so far is my yellow lantern. And so... And then my other one's the claw, and then I have like the... Ch I guess it's the chain. Like that right there, that's like a chain and smacking him with the, with the chain. And, I, and, I, and since I have all that... You don't have to have it equipped in your loadout, you just have to uh, unlock it. Out of the 15 power points that you have. And you'll be able to do that combo. So I like to do the combo a lot. Where I do the chainsaw. Well first I start, I'll start punching. And then I'll go into like the clapping. When I'm doing the punching. And then I'll go through the clapping. And then I'll go into the. But make sure you have all those powers unlocked. You have to have the punching bag. The clapping. The chainsaw. 
and the uh, chain, the chainsaw, and then the the chain that smacks. So you have to have all those unlocked in order to do that combo. And then with the claw, I can do. I have the claw, and then I pretty much the same as the punching bag. I can do the chainsaw, and my power because usually my power stays full because of that. I'm spawning it. I'm not redoing uh, an another power, and I continue to do that combo. That's why my power stays full most of the time. That's why I like lanterns, and some of the other character powers can do combos but not as good as lanterns they do combos really good like that right there I just did the the train sometimes when I'm doing the claw effect and I'm doing like the chainsaw sometimes I'll accidentally do the the train but I have it unlocked so that's why I do that but it's part of a combo see I have that unlocked so any uh, any power that I'm doing is all mixed in with the combo and they're all unlocked. Even though I don't have them in my loadout like that. That drill. <coughs> that drill power, I have it unlocked but I don't have it in my loadout. As long as I have it unlocked, I can use that in a combo. It usually happens when I'm doing the claw effect. I'll start doing the claw effect. I'll start punching, like now I'm punching, oh, I got out of it. We're not, well I'm not really punching, I'm smacking him with claws. Attention, stand clear of the distillation unit door. So the way I do it, and uh, the way I have my loadout is, is really, what I, really easy for me, like, L, L2 and triangle will be my instant power. L2 and square will be my punching bag. And then L2 and circle will be my bat. I did not really use it. I'm not really using it right now. <coughs> the punching. Since I have the rifle, I use it less. My, pun my baseball, uh, my bat. Like like I'm playing baseball, I'll, I'll trap them in, into baseballs and I'll smack them. And sometimes it, in, in the game when I do the the bat, baseball, whatever, power, it'll make the baseball noise like do 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 do. Yeah, it'll, it'll do that. But I'm not really using it right now because I tend to forget about it. Like now I, I'm concentrating on trying to hit him that I, I'm not using it. And I don't want to use it right now. And I'm use, I use my claw back more so I could do that and I use my punching bag the most. Because I don't really need to trap him. We're not struggling right now. And I should have already gotten these. I'm not really investigation briefings with this character. I'm not really too big on it. But if I come across them, then I'll, I'll get them. Like, most of the missions, I know where they all are. Some of them, I have to go searching for them. And there's people that are actually posted on their website. Like DC Universe Online Wiki or whatever. There's another website that... If you just type it in, like, where's investigation briefings for Ace Chemical or whatever alert you're doing, it'll be, there's a website, like, two or three different websites that show you where they actually are. And then if you even search on YouTube, there's people that are actually show you in a video exactly where they are. If you really want to see it in a video. If you want me to show you where they all are, I, I guess I could. I... I tend to personally, especially with this character, don't really care to find them all. Because some of the stuff that I did to find them all, I got like crappy gear out of it. I got like a cowboy hat out of one of them. I didn't like that. 
I got like a uh, one of them. I got like a like a speed or whatever helmet. I didn't really like it. I forgot the name of it because I didn't really like it. But it was with my yellow lantern character that I got it. I didn't really like it at all. It was kind of crappy. And a lot of gear that I'm unlocking, uh, I don't really like like half of it. Like the gloves that I have now is like energy. You have to have the uh, the light to be a lantern. You have to have the light DLC fight for light. So you have to be able to be a yellow lantern to unlock the energy glove. I actually unlocked the energy back, but I don't really like it. Like a lot of people I've seen in the game, they have it, and it seems like a lot of people like it, but I don't. Like you can even get the punchline, like kick me, uh, thing that that this boss has. I don't like it. It's stupid. It says kick me, and. Since uh, I like to be like a true, since I'm a lantern and I like to be a true lantern, I try to stick with that. And I can't wait for the red lantern power to come out because red's my favorite color and I like to be a red lantern. So, because I like all the lanterns in the game so far, the, which is the only two are the red, or the yellow and the green. And Red Lanterns are in the game, but you can't play as them yet, right now. Because there's, uh, like, Ferris aircraft. There's a mission. And then there's another one where you fight, uh, Kyle Rayner. And I forgot the, uh, other... But you fight, like, Kyle Rayner and this Yellow Lantern guy. And then this, uh, which is, I think it's Atrocitus. I think you fight him. But that's like a T3 mission. You fight them. All at the same time. And apparently in the Red Lantern DLC. That's coming soon. I know it's very very soon. I thought it was going to be out like this week. Because people are complaining about it. About when it's going to come out. And you're like. Is it out already? Is it out already? Because they just came out with armories. So I thought that, which, no. what Armories oh, is, is, doesn't really, ah, it's kind of confusing, like, the, the name, Time but planet. what it does, it's pretty much just switching your loadout, loadouts, like, all your equipment and your inventory, like, say if I want to be DPS and I want to switch to my style, whatever, really fast, you can do that. I'll show you here at the end of the video exactly what Baby I mean by that because it's I'm in the Using middle of uh, this alert right now and it looks like I'm not doing a lot of damage but I bet you at the end of this I'll see if I'm doing the most damage because I'm pretty up there with my CR and a lot and I can just kind of tell what CR the other players are even if I'm not looking at it by what equipment they have on them and it looks like they have like a lot of the people that are doing this are like Barely just got to level 30. Because if you're unlocking uh, all the cooler gear, you're probably going to have it. Like the stronger gear, you're probably going to have that equipped because they're cooler. Like the T3 gear is like the best gear so far. And T4 and T5. Which I haven't really done that much of the T4 or T5 yet. Because I'm playing with random people, so it's really, really, really hard. If I was playing with the same people all the time, I'd get stuff done a lot faster and I'd probably be at 100 by now. Because you can go all the way up to 100. I think 100 is the highest you can go with your CR. Because it's kind of weird. You stop at level 30, but you're still leveling up. Instead of going up higher than level 30, your CR goes up. It's not really confusing, but if you're new to it, it kind of is until you start playing a lot more than you realize and then you get to level 30 you're realizing you're still leveling up you, you just bring your CR up because a lot of the a lot of the gear will say level 52 that means 
instead of you being at level 52, your CR is at 52. But you're still leveling up. So this is the last boss of the alert. And he takes a while to, to kill because he's spawning a lot of his little uh, little minions that smaller versions of him. They're like carrying a bunch of uh, chemicals to knock you out. And they don't really do that much damage. It's really him, the big guy that does the damage. Chemo himself. Yeah, he's really the only one that does the damage. Because all they're, they're just in the way, just so he can hit you. Since we're all pretty good in strength. And I'm like the strongest player. I know I am. I can just tell. Because I, tell, I can tell right now that I'm doing a lot of damage. And it doesn't look like it, but I am because my weapon's pretty up there. It's a double 52 weapon. Which I really not, don't care too much for rifles, but I wanted to try it and to give it a chance. And I also like to use a weapon that not too many people are using. Like, I don't see too many people using brawling weapon or the rifle that much. Once, a couple of times, I bumped into people using the rifle, but not that much. Because they like to use the one-handed or the two-handed or... I, I don't really know. I think a lot of them are using, like... The staff, they like to use the staff weapon, which is, or the two-handed weapon. And then I'm not, it's, I'm not really paying attention to half the people that I play with. Which, half the random people that I'm playing with, I don't really pay attention to what they have on them. Yeah, this guy's, ha his health is halfway, but he'll be dead here soon. Like, I'm like the strongest, that's why it's taken us this long to even kill him. Yeah, and I almost got killed there, and I had to back off. And since I have a rifle, it's best for me to hit at a, at a distance. If you have a rifle or a hand blaster, it's best to hit at a distance. And those are distant weapons. Like, the hand blaster is a little bit faster than the rifle. But rifle, you can shoot pretty far with it. And if you have a pretty strong, uh, pretty high leveled rifle, it could do pretty good damage. That's why I've been hitting from a distance. And it looks like I'm not doing that much damage because I'm not getting right in there. I actually am. Because of what level my weapon is and compared to w whatever level their weapons are, which is probably like 34. Mine's way stronger than theirs. So I'm hitting the enemies more than they are. They're there just to... Right now, for me, they're actually just keeping me alive. Is mostly what they're doing. Because I'm doing most of the work right now. On this. But they're strong enough to stay alive. Even though I'm doing most of the work. They're strong enough to stay alive and keep me alive. And... Especially when I got two healers. Because the two healers in here are not really doing any damage. But they're gaining power by me. So mostly what they're doing is keeping me alive. So when one is very low on power, the other has some power to get me some health. So the way I'm explaining it kind of looks like I'm doing the entire thing myself. Which a little bit I, I am but not a hundred percent because if I was in here by myself I'd be knocked out quick and I just spawn my yeah I just spawned this power which my my charge supercharge power I mean I didn't spawn it but I just pulled it out because I wanted to use it because if you don't use it for a while because uh, this is like 50% so you have to supercharge you have to wait 50% if you don't use it for a while and and you wait you can use it again but you basically if you use it immediately after and it still has that yellow on it you're still gonna have some 
you're still gonna have to wait. And I use it in emergencies anyways, mostly. See, I just did the most damage there. So, yeah, like, really, 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 really good damage. Yeah, and you can see. Because compared to everyone else, probably their level was a lot lower than mine and then my weapon, like I said. So, I just equipped what I just got there. Yeah, because I got more and more marks of triumphs because mostly that's what you use in this game. Like earlier, because I've been playing this since 2011, there used to be marks of jurisdiction and Krypton or something like that. I think there is Krypton still, but you can only use those in T Tire 4 gear or Tire 5. Mostly, they just did away with all the other marks and you don't, there's really no need for them. So that's pretty much it on this alert. Uh, You've done well. I didn't really have to talk Tomorrow to Batman, Batman but I just do it anyways. For in case. So are the Jokers. Because I know I've done this once. This is the second time I've done this uh, alert. I actually, yeah, was moving pretty fast with this character. And I think because of the updates that they've done recently. Like update number 32 and I think, or 33 that just came out. I'm not sure. Because I think 32 was the Christmas. And they just did away with the Christmas. It's over now. Like a couple days ago. Like today I know. Or yesterday or whatever. That the armories just came out. I'll go to my base here in a second. After I get more gear. Because I have enough to get me at least uh, like a headpiece. I think I'm. Or something. Because it depends on whatever's gonna bring my CR up or stay in the green more I'm getting DPS since I already grabbed started grabbing DPS it's not a good idea to mix it up because you can just screw your character up so keep it all the same because it works best that way if you just keep it and I wait for everything to uh, pop up because sometimes that happens this armor packs a lot of power but you have to wait is if you, because it? it's an you online game, so you have to wait for things to pop up because they fade out, and there's a lot of people on the game, so I could, I could see, if you had a really really slow internet connection, you probably shouldn't even be playing this game. Like I have like 50 gigabytes, but I still, but I have like Xfinity, and I still don't really like them because once in a while you'll get kicked off your own internet. I had that happen to me. A, couple times I just didn't really so I got the headpiece but yeah a couple times I didn't really like getting kicked off so I used to have direct TV but in the apartment that I live in now I can't really have direct TV because I prefer them over Xfinity but X which is Comcast because they're partnered together I really do not like Xfinity at all it, they're just their cable channels and I mentioned it uh, in my past like two videos or whatever whatever on my channel but I don't really like them at all that much and so yeah in the apartment place most apartment places really don't accept direct TV because you have to have the satellite dish and sometimes cable is not that good as satellite. But this is uh, armories. I don't know why they call this armories. It should be like ah, uh, it's it's got a weird name for it. But I'm gonna uh, imprint. I don't know why they call it imprinting instead of. Ju I guess you have to have a special name for everything. In this game especially. Because this is like DC Universe Online. And they have to have like this. I'm just renaming this. Just to rename it. It's my damage loadout. But I got like one controller. Uh, piece of gear equipped. Which is the belt. Which 
it hasn't really hurt me, so I'm just leaving it like that until I actually get all controller gear. I'm going to wait right now since my damage gear that I have, I'm going to stick with that for right now. And like I said, only go to controller when being a controller helps me out. Uh, it doesn't really hurt me actually being a controller when I do alerts and raids. Because I will immediately switch back to damage if I'm getting knocked out when I'm in my controller role. Or I will inspect the other players. So if they're like lower than me, then I before I think about what to switch to. Because usually that's what happens is when I'm switching to my other roles. And I see other players that they're weaker than me then I'll be like, yeah, that's why the problem is, is because they're weaker than me, and they're not, like, they're in DPS when they got their whole loadout, and their equipment all mixed up, and what they have equipped on in their inventory, it's like, stupid, it's like, keep it all the same, if you want to be tank, stay tank, if you want to be a controller, stay controller, and have all that equipped, but if you have like controller gear, keep all controller gear. Because if you want to be DPS, make sure all your DPS gear is equipped. And yes, it might help you if you switch to your other role if you got just DPS gear on. So it depends. But you have to have your loadout that really helps out when you want to switch to your other role. So make sure you have stuff that will help you out. Because that's what I have on as my controller stuff to give out power and that's pretty much it on this video just talking about this a little bit thanks for watching please subscribe for more gameplay videos and i'll talk to you guys later until next time thanks for watching and that's it